Yeah, she's big. You know how big she is. I've never had her do that before, that's cute. <laughs> there you go. There it is. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, then we'll reset her. Okay. So rats are smaller, more compact. Um, they are lighter, so they can get into smaller spaces too. So they might even be able to just sniff a vent and tell if anything in like a cargo bin is um, something illegal, depending on what they're trained to detect. And so rats are easier to, to house, to take, they're, they're a little less expensive to train and take care of. Um, you can have multiple rats go to a, a site where, you know, often with dogs, it's probably one dog being able to patrol. Um, so rats can get in and out of little tight spaces as well. So dogs are amazing too. And we love our, we have a lot of conservation dogs out there working with us too, to help with detection, but the rats bring a whole nother level and, and can take it to another level as far as where they can access and their just intelligence and the sense of smell. but she goes right to the one. <laughs> there are a lot of different species, but pangolin are one of the most trafficked animals in the world. So pangolin scale could be something that they could detect. Um, so anything that you can think of that might be trafficked, it could be everything from plants. We get a lot of illegally trafficked plants, reptiles, mammals, birds. So all of the um, different animals that we might be targeting, depending on where they're working in the world, they might be targeting different species. So you would have to train the rats to be able to detect whatever scent you were looking for. Yes, I, I do think there's ability to scale this up, and I know Apopo would love to be able to scale up hero rat training around the world to help prevent those things like wildlife trafficking. It's like the fourth biggest um, illegal industry in the world, and so it's uh, something that's very passionate uh, as us as conservationists at the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance to align and tell the story of Apopo and bring attention to the fact that wildlife trafficking is very detrimental to species that we are trying to actively save and protect in the wild.
the reason we're using African giant pouch rats is because they're very long lived. Um, so that means that when we are training them, and we're investing all this time and, and effort into training them, they then still have a working lifespan ahead of them. You know, some rodents, some rats have a lifespan of three to four years um, or even shorter, whereas our rats um, in the wild live around seven to eight years. And our oldest retirement rat um, passed away when she was 11. Basically, as long as something has a unique scent odor, our rats can detect it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 